Hello and welcome to the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of December 12th, 2020. Well, today on the stimulus front, we are still basically stuck on the two stimulus mantras we've been stuck on for a while, which is state and local government funding as well as liability protection. And as we know, uh, Mitch McConnell has already suggested the simple fact that, you know what, why don't we just put state and local and, and liability protection on the next stimulus package next year, which is in 2021, and try to pass what we agree on right now. Which I gotta admit, that's actually a pretty good idea because if you follow me on this, I'll give you a good reason why. Because, okay, the, the total cost that they're asking for of the state and local government funding on this stimulus package is $160 billion. And if they take if they take the hundred sixty billion dollars off there, that means that they totally agree with on four hundred and seventy billion dollars worth of funding for certain programs. That's leaving unemployment on there as well. Now, with one hundred sixty billion dollars off there, how much does it cost to put six hundred dollars stimulus checks back on there to replace the state and local government funding? Well, that's about one hundred sixty billion dollars. So I'm just, well, how I'm figuring this out is if they if they take out the state and local government funding and liability and do exactly what they Mitch suggested and do it on a stimulus package next year. And then they leave this current stimulus package the way it is. Then they just add the stimulus checks on there for $160 billion. That brings you back up to a total of $908 billion. This way, everybody gets something. And for those who are unemployed, they can't actually go get unemployment and qualify for, for some reason for another. Or... You know, the people like me that even though I do work, I don't I don't get paid a whole lot, but I still get paid. A six hundred dollar stimulus check, even though once would still help out. And I know it helped out most of you guys as well out there that can also use their six hundred bucks. But if they took the like I said, if they left everything the way it was, to remove the state and local government funding and liability protection and put that for next year's idea, and then just put the stimulus six hundred dollar stimulus packages back on here, um you still have $908 billion. This way, you still have stimulus packages, you have unemployment, you have PPP, you have PUA, PFA, you have like a lot of stuff still on there. And But we have one little problem with that. Now, we, I believe that Nancy Pelosi actually don't want to agree upon that package because in fact, as we know, she already rejected the $908 billion package, even though she accepted the $916 billion package, which the $916 billion package removed the state and local, no wait, it removed the unemployment and put stimulus package checks on there instead. So we got Mitch who wants that, that says, you know what, let's do the, um, wait a minute here, actually, <laughs> Nancy Pelosi won the $908 billion, Mitch McConnell wants the $916 billion. And he said $908 billion only has unemployment on there. 916 has stimulus checks on there. But yet, supposedly both Democrats and Republicans both agree upon stimulus checks and unemployment, just different amounts for unemployment, as well as the stimulus checks. But <clears throat> why they can't, you know, think outside the box for once and realize that, you know what, just because they have hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars, not everyone's in the same boat as they are. And the American people need the help from the American company. Their uh, their American uh, politicians are supposed to represent them, and yet all we're getting to all that's really happening right now is basically we're becoming a laughing stock. Because if you look at all these other countries that are out there, gave their citizens a form of stimulus. I have read, I went over this in a previous episodes. I mean, for instance, I mean Canada basically gave their citizens, and I'm not sure if they still are. $2,000 a month for six months, I believe. Then we had, uh, I think it was a Belgium was like, I think 90% of the, the employee's wage they still got, which is still a good thing. Others cut the food costs in half, if not did a lot more better for them. And yet our country is squabbling over money to save its citizens from a pandemic that is going to severely hurt us so far. It's going to make it a lot worse. I mean, 
when you see my numbers for the COVID cases at the end, towards the end of this video, you'll see that our numbers are actually getting up there and it's getting worse and worse and worse. And our government people are just sitting down doing nothing. And this includes our good old President Donald Trump, who is too worried about his electoral votes and him becoming president than actually doing anything to really get their, the Republicans or the Democrats off their butts to do their job to help us out so we can sign something into law to help out the people. He'd rather fight Texas, he'd have rather join Texas and fight Michigan, Wisconsin, not, I think it was Wisconsin, and a few other states that were battleground states because he lost in them. Well, you know what, Donald Trump? Grow up, stop wearing that diaper, and start helping the people out. The same thing goes for all the politicians out there that keep trying to say, oh yeah, we're doing this for the people, but yet they're not doing nothing for the people. So if that isn't pretty bad, you mean, we have, we have Nancy Pelosi who wants unemployment, but no stimulus checks. We have, we have Mr. Cole who wants stimulus checks, but no unemployment. And we have Donald Trump that all this sign if is put in front of me yet, he's not willing to actually help push them along and be a good leader he's supposed to be. And instead, he's being a crybaby leading by bad example. But most of this is just what I'm saying. I mean, it's, it's not actually proven fact about Donald Trump being a crybaby, and because, even though we know he is. But um, that's just what I have to say about that topic. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, like I said, I mean, if, if you stick with me, uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to put up the numbers for COVID-19 and you uh, trust me, I don't even like them for COVID-19, the, the new cases and the fatalities and, and so yeah, that's pretty bad. But, um, until next time, you guys have a wonderful Saturday. Please stay safe out there. And remember, we're all in this together because basically we're all we got. You have a great evening.